Have you ever sat in front of your class so engrossed in your own lesson that you suddenly found yourself basically talking only to yourself? You thought you had kept the attention of all your students, but not one child was listening? Well, even the best educators have experienced this one directional chatter at some point or another in their career. How can we find our students' interests? How can we keep these interests high? What separates the best teachers from the rest are those who continuously focus more on what their students are learning than on what they as teachers are teaching. At Azrieli, we learn countless techniques that we can utilize to engage students and involve them in the learning experience. I think that the most effective technique, though, tap into the idea that students will do things well and thoroughly when they feel that the idea that they're working on is theirs. When they take ownership of the subject matter that they are learning, they feel a much higher sense of motivation. Chazal teach us that Reitza Adam Bekav Shaloi Mitisha Kavin Shalchaveroi. Loosely translated, that means a person has much more satisfaction from one measure of something that he worked hard on on his own than from nine measures of something that he received from somebody else without any hard work or toil. I recently introduced this concept as a Gemara project in my sixth grade classroom. The overarching idea is for the students to prepare a piece of Gemara on their own and then to present it to the class by encouraging them to be actively involved in the process rather than passively, rather than passive recipients of information, they will take ownership of the material and enjoy it much more. This concept in general is what is done in most yeshiva high schools where the boys need to prepare a piece of Gemara on their own before they come into class to hear a shir from their Rebbe. This project varies a little bit being that the students will be presenting their project in the classroom, and they'll be the ones who are teaching it. The idea could be implemented at any age level. However, for my sixth grade class, I felt that they needed more help and resources to help them prepare for their Gemara that they're going to teach. I divided them into groups of three or four and gave them each a video of me teaching the Gemara to them for them to watch at home. I also gave them translation sheets and explanation sheets of the Gemara, of the text of the Gemara, so they can teach the text as well in class. I explained that they would be presenting what they learned at home in class in any way they choose. They had to teach the text, however the medium in which they would present it can be a PowerPoint, a video production, a display board, however they felt comfortable. These presentations will be worked on at home as well as in class. During class, I gave them time to work on their projects with their groups to help each other better understand the Gemara and to work on how they're going to present it. I used this time in class to walk around and help those that needed help and guide them in the process. The idea of giving them videos to watch at home, of course, was inspired by the now very popular flipped classroom model. Although the flipped classroom model has proven to be very effective overall, it is hard to have a real flipped classroom when it comes to teaching Gemara, being that by nature, the Gemara is a very abstract type of learning. I also had reservations about students learning Gemara from a video as opposed to from a Rebbe in a live setting. There's a certain energy and excitement that is inherently part of the transmission of Torah, the word of Hashem, that a video cannot capture. I do believe, though, that the model can definitely be tweaked to work anyway. By the mere fact that the material was being taught in the classroom by the boys presenting it, and I was there filling in the gaps, so to speak, and actively involved in the whole process, so we didn't lose that energy and, and excitement, which is that important part of Torah learning. To make these videos and translation sheets took me hours of hard work, many late nights, but it really paid off to see the enthusiasm in their eyes and the excitement while working together was priceless. I even had one group of boys come to me during recess to asking me to explain the Gemara to them. And I said, you're 
you're missing your recess. And they said, no, we want to understand the Gemara. And these are boys who wouldn't miss a second for anything in the world of their recess. While two parents did object to this whole project, because it just wasn't the traditional way of teaching, the overall feedback that I received was overwhelmingly positive. The parents loved seeing how enthusiastic their sons were and how much time and effort the boys were putting in at home on their own time. We can learn four things from this idea. Number one, students are motivated when they have to work hard on their own project. Number two is that group work teaches them the benefits of collaboration, a skill that all adults need. It teaches them that they can make their work richer, stronger, and more elaborate than it would be if they worked on their own. Number three, because it's theirs, and they each have their own part to contribute, they can feel comfortable to work at their own developmental level without feeling any pressure from other boys. And number four, because they can present in any way they would like, this idea sort of taps into the different personalities and intelligences that they possess. The timeless advice from Shlomo HaMelech, Chanoich Linar al Pi Darkoi, surely applies over here. Educate a child according to his way, the way that he has to find by himself and work hard on a way that he feels is his. He will have much more satisfaction and enjoyment from it. So that Gam Ki Yazkin Lo Yasser Mimena. When he grows older, he will not deviate from it. He will always have a positive feeling towards Torah learning. And he will keep on his path, his unique path, that you only illuminated for him to see for himself. Thank you.